This week in the Missouri Senate, we review preliminary work on the upcoming budget. You gotta give the appropriate committee time to do their work. The Senate should fully restore the teacher salary increases that were cut by the House. Missouri Senate Majority Floor Leader Caleb Rodden of Columbia says this week's focus was mainly on reviewing the state operating budget for fiscal year 2023. Just allow enough room for them to do their stuff and for us to still have a chance to move some priorities other than the budget. Missouri Senate Minority Floor Leader John Rizzo of Kansas City says he would like to see one group make more money. Missouri teachers are among the lowest paid in the country. We have a record surplus and it's time Missouri teachers have a raise. It's the right thing to do. We're going to have to look at it and have some more conversations over there. Senator Rowden says lawmakers are looking at the possibility of raising teacher salaries desire for folks to get into the teaching space, you really have to feel called to do it at this point because it is tough and it gets tougher by the day. Senator Rizzo reiterates he believes teacher pay needs to be raised. Use the mechanism, but I would encourage them greatly to find ways to increase it. I certainly love the idea of giving money back to Missourians. I think we have a lot of things that we need to fund. Senator Rowden also says some lawmakers are floating the idea of one-time tax rebates or tax credits to Missourians. Concern with how it's done, the mechanism. You know, I think it's one thing to say we want to give a billion dollars back to Missourians. I think it's another thing to say, you know, we're going to do it the right way. Senator Rizzo says the state must meet its obligations first. Putting money into the pockets of people is the best place to put it. But I also think we have bare minimum responsibilities as a state to make sure that we're fulfilling, like paying teachers. The Senate begins working on the state budget. Again, addressing the needs of the state before the end of the year. At the same time, the Missouri Senate Appropriations Committee is also reviewing another supplemental budget for the current fiscal year. Senator Dan Hageman of Cosby, who chairs appropriations, says House Bill 3015 represents the standard supplemental budget. We normally have a supplemental budget to address these type of shortfalls unforeseen as we put together the fiscal year budget. In addition, the panel is going line by line through House Bill 3020, the capital improvements budget, also standard in most years. Senator Stephen Roberts of St. Louis says he's watching where the funding goes. It's crucial that we keep in mind some of our most vulnerable persons are unhoused. The full Missouri Senate may discuss the fiscal year 2023 state operating budget next week. Typically, the supplemental and capital improvements budgets are also approved at the same time as the budget for the next fiscal year. An act relating to transparency in public education. Education. Senator from Boone. Thank you, Mr. President. Session will continue on Monday. I move that the Senate stand adjourned until Monday, April 25th at 4 p.m. You've heard them. And remember, you can follow these and other issues facing the Missouri Senate by visiting our website, senate.mo.gov. The eyes appear to have it, the eyes do have it. The Missouri Senate is adjourned until Monday, April 25th. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Dean Morgan.